Hi, I'm Helene from HeleneInBetween.com. All right, let's go over camera settings. There are a few tools that you can use to take great photos. So let's just go over a few. The first is going to be the button on the side of your camera, what you usually use for volume. You could actually use this button to take photos. So when you just click it when you're in camera, it's going to take photo for you. The second thing you can do is we're going to turn on grid. So we're going to go into settings to do that. What the grid does is that's going to break your photo down so that you can really get a better composition and you're going to be able to use the rule of thirds so that you can take better photos. So when you go into settings, you're going to click on photos and camera. After we click that, we're going to go down into the camera options and we're going to toggle the grid on. So it's going to turn green so you want to make sure you turn that grid on. Let's see how it looks when we open up the camera. So now we're going to be able to see some lines, these gray and white lines right here. That is going to help you to place the items in your photo. So if I wanted these pencils here to be in the center, I could place that in the center, the eraser part in the center of the photo. It just really helps you to visually break down the photo and it's going to help your composition. Okay, the next thing we can do is turn on HDR. HDR stands for high dynamic range. Basically what that does is it's going to take three photos from darkest to lightest by combining the shadows and the exposure in the photo. So to turn that on, we're going to just click on HDR at the top of your phone and you're just gonna click on. So when you take a photo with HDR, it's going to capture the light and take photos, three different photos and combine it into one. So let's try it out. So I'm just gonna click to take a picture of these pencils and it just waits just one minute while it kind of populates so that you have the photo. So here is the photo with HDR, and then it's also gonna save the photo without HDR. This works really well for any kind of landscape or especially when you're working outside since the lighting can be kind of hard to capture. So now that we've gone over HDR, what I'm also gonna look at is how to focus the exposure. So if you just tap on your screen, you can focus on anything in an image. So you can see when I tap on the screen, it's going to think about it and it's going to look at exactly what I'm tapping with my finger. So if I were to click on the outside on the top left part of the screen, it's going to focus on the top left rather than the pencils. If I really want to focus on the color and the pencils, I'm going to click on that part in the screen. If you want to be able to lock that, that's called AEAF lock. And what this is going to do is this is going to help you capture the exposure and the light in the photo. So if I just click and hold with my finger, it's this AEAF lock is going to come up, and then what you can do is simply move your finger back and forth to control the brightness. So if I go down, you can see that it's getting darker, whereas if I go up, the photo gets lighter. So what I tend to do is, because I like bright, light photos, is I just move the AEF lock just up a few degrees. So I'm just going to move this up just a couple degrees to really bring in the light. Play around with this so you can see how this is going to look for you. But I tend to just go a few degrees because we don't want to overexpose the image. Okay, so now that you know about these settings and you're able to master these techniques, it's time to actually shoot a photo.